lady. The wait is finally over. Beautiful Joe, the crazy retro style action game that put the joy back in joystick and the roll back in side scroll, is coming to the PlayStation 2. And not a moment too soon. We just went, look, we want cool characters, we want cool um, enemies, and we want cool gameplay. This wasn't a game based on dollar signs. This was a game based on what do people like to play. The usually successful title is built around a pretty straightforward but endlessly enticing storyline. Joe, a regular schmo, is at the movies with his girlfriend. Sylvia, cut it She gets sucked into the film, and he follows. Hey, wait a minute. Am I in inside the movie? My young Joe, it looks like you haven't awakened to your true powers as a hero. A regular Joe turns superhero off to rescue his girl. The storyline is classic, and so is the interface. It looks like an American comic. Cell shading and side scrolling contribute to the feel you get in a comic book world. People want to play with the feeling that they are a classic hero character. The core of Beautiful Joe is old school platform side scrolling. Okay, but in order for us to accomplish that in this day and age, we needed to incorporate 3D elements, and we also needed to make it very deep. The game borrows heavily from the best of action movie cliches. A lot of people have grown up with Star Wars type of films and shows where like a typical um, teenager in high school living a normal life was actually a superhero in disguise. Another one of course is karate films, action films. For example, there's a move called Replay where just like in an old kung fu film, when somebody gets a really big hit or it's, it's the last punch, it shows it from three angles uh, and you see the bam, bam, bam. One of the effects is slow. That's a power that enables gameplay to slow down. It's like a scene from the movie Matrix when they dodge bullets. So for those of you that think Beautiful Joe might be too simplistic, think again. Well, on the surface, when you look at Beautiful Joe, it might look like um, just a regular side-scrolling 2D action game. But we do utilize the modern-day hardware um, to make sure that the player gets a very in-depth experience. So when you utilize your super moves, it not only affects what's going on with you, it also affects the environment. The developers, Capcom, have added some unique features in porting the game to the PlayStation 2 platform. One of the biggest improvements is the addition of Dante. Dante is the main character from Devil May Cry, but his dad was like a demon from back in the day. So he decided to utilize his special powers to defeat evil in the world. When we first released Beautiful Joe, there's a character, the enemy character named Alastor, who has some uh, tie-ins with Devil May Cry. Because of those crossovers, we figured, okay, what character would make sense putting him in Beautiful Joe, and what character would be fun to play? Uh, and we chose Dante. If you think that you know Beautiful Joe to the core, you should try the PlayStation version because the Dante character brings a whole new dynamic. He can utilize his uh, talents from the original game where he has a double jump, he has a sword that he can throw, and he has his two guns. That in conjunction with slow down and speed up uh, makes Dante a pretty tough customer and pretty fun to play. And just when you're totally hooked on Beautiful Joe, they followed it up with a second round. Version 2 hit the ground running with lots of new features. In Beautiful Joe 1, Sylvia is the heroine, but she comes back as a playable character in Beautiful Joe 2. And you can look forward to a whole host of new supervillains that are as exciting and enigmatic as the ones in the first one. Beyond those teases, the designers of version 2 are being tight-lipped about all it will have to offer, but they are willing to pass along some tips for improved play. You can play through the first level without learning how to dodge the enemy moves, but um, learn how to dodge the enemy moves. It shows you where they're going to attack, and then you dodge the other direction. And if you do that, the whole game dynamics change up, because once you dodge them, 
Then you can push slow, and when you punch them, they become projectiles, and everything changes. A whole new element to the game opens up. So a lot of thought has been put into that type of stuff, but also characters are likable, the enemies are funny, um, and I like that type of stuff. Like a good cartoon, but hip on the level. Let's get it on! By the end of the game, there's no way that you can't be satisfied if you like playing video games.